The theme for the week of Christmas to New Year is wrap up the season. Here are the words of this marvelous poem by Howard Thurman called The Work of Christmas. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins. To find the lost, to heal the broken, to feed the hungry, to release the prisoner, to rebuild the nations, to, being, to bring peace among brothers and sisters, to make music in the heart. We're going to be continuing our daily video devotionals this week through New Year's Day. And here are some seasonal suggestions that have worked for others. Use the time after Christmas to renew some friendships. Who have you missed connecting with? Sometimes December gets us out of our routine and we may overlook some people. We may overlook some special time with family and friends, even though our routines of socializing have been affected by the pandemic. There are still ways that we can reach out and touch special people. This time between Christmas and New Year's can be a time to make at least one special connection. Here's another. Find ways to prevent the after Christmas letdown. Enjoy family time with puzzles or games. Set aside time to do something outside with loved ones. Make a snowman whenever nature cooperates. Take a walk on the greenway or in a nearby park. You can also continue traditional pre-Christmas activities like making cookies or singing with family members. These activities might even be more, be more meaningful on the week after Christmas. Hear these words from chapter 2 of Matthew, verses 3 through 5, as King Herod has just learned about the wise men searching for the king of the Jews. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for it has been written by the prophet. Let us pray. Lord, sometimes the days after Christmas can feel like a letdown. Help us use these quieter, different times to continue to focus on that which is most important. Amen. The theme for week of Christmas to New Year is wrap up the season. Listen to these words from the late Mother Teresa of India. The coming of Jesus at Bethlehem brought great joy to the world and to every human heart. May his coming this Christmas bring to each one of us that peace and joy that he desires to give. Bless your pastor. This could be an appropriate time to offer a gift of time or resources to your pastor or other religious leaders. December can be hectic for pastors even during a pandemic. Your pastor may still be recovering. Think of some creative way to share a blessing. Here's another, have a thank you party. Set aside an evening for everyone in the household to write thank you notes, not just for gifts, but also for expressions of kindness. Make this a special together time and be creative. You might make handmade cards. Serve a special snack and play joyful music. Writing thank you notes is a good habit to teach to the next generation. Hear these words from chapter two of Matthew, verse six, where the words of the prophet are quoted. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Let us pray. Lord, help us find ways to enjoy your Christmas peace and joy as this wonderful season draws to a close. Amen. Gather God's children, gather God's friends, 
Gather all young ones, all women and men. The story now started, celebration begun, to retell the story, the birth of God's Son. Remember the town, remember that night, remember the shepherds who felt such a fright, remember the angels, remember the inn, remember the beasts, remember their den, remember the mother, remember the one, the child they would call the carpenter's son. Remember the Father so trusting and true, for upon this night I say unto you that my name is Joseph, and all that I know is cutting and building my life's work to show. The hammer, the nail, the lathe, and the plane, the saw, the sandpaper, the plum, and the pain of backbreaking labor each day after day, betrothed to a maiden so young yet so fay who said to me, lover, although it's not time, I am with child, this blessing is mine. Don't leave me, dear lover, oh, please understand, this child of my womb is the child of no man. This flesh of my flesh, yes, be, yet be it quite odd, is the hope of the world, it's the flesh of my God. Startled, bewildered, what would they say, should I make a vow to put her away? to turn from the promise to make her my wife, the shunning, the stairs, to save her own life. The people will point and the people will talk. This love of my life the people will mock. This is the best thing to do, it would seem. Then one night an angel appeared in a dream. Fear not, dear Joseph, be not afraid, for this is God's Son, his people to save. Hold fast to Mary by your own accord. Hold fast to this promise. Hold fast to your Lord. I awoke from this dream. I will do what you say. Through rumor, through whispers, we both will obey. Though no one could ever understand what I mean, the things I have known, the things I have seen, all point to a Savior, our God in the flesh, redemption, salvation for all who confess. Dear Mary, beloved, through all of this strife, I will stand beside you and make you my wife. I will remember the things I've been shown. I will raise this infant like he was my own. Through all that may happen, I will stand by his side, for my name is Joseph, which means God will provide. God will provide, and our God will lead with steadfast love for all who believe. For all who believe, who cling to this sun, there's new hope, salvation, and life just begun. With all that I wish for, with all that I am, I will stand beside you. I will be that man. Though be it unusual, though be it quite odd, I'll be the adoptive father of God. We gather at Christmas, we gather as friends with visions of heaven and world without end the birth of our God of flesh and of bone, and the promise that we are never alone. Our Lord is the Savior who without constraints is the promised Messiah of unlikely saints. Unlikely saints, I tell you, it's true. For our God calls people like me and like you. So go shine your candle, go share your light, be hopeful and gracious and loving and bright. May the good news of our Savior's birth resound through the nations and fill all the earth. Amen. The theme for the week of Christmas to New Year's is wrap up the season. Hear this quote from St. Francis de Sales. Doing little things with a strong desire to please God makes them really great. And this famous quote from the founder of Methodism, John Wesley. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, to all the people you can, as long as you can. Here are some seasonal suggestions that have worked for others. Here's one that might work for you. I don't know. Organize those ornaments. 
Consider boxing up your Christmas ornaments in smaller boxes, perhaps labeled by room or specific content. Then next year, think about doing your de December decorating one box at a time. You could focus on a particular room one day, one day for the tree, one day for the outside, one day for this area. By packing items in this manner, you might be able to reduce the stress of decorating in December 2021. Here's another idea, feed the birds. This is a great time to create a Christmas tree for the birds and squirrels. You can string popcorn or apple slices or roll pine cones in peanut butter and bird seed or, or hang up packages of suet. Talk about the many animals who are mentioned in the Bible. Include children in this if you have children in your household. Talk about animals that might have been present at the birth of Christ. Think about Jesus' words in Matthew 6, 26. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Remember how the same God who feeds the birds also cares for us. Now hear these words from chapter 2 of Matthew, verses 7 through 9. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When the wise men had heard the king, they set out. And there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. Let us pray. Loving God, we know that Herod had evil motives for wanting to find your son. Lord, give us pure motives that we may worship Jesus in truth as we enjoy the final days of the Christmas season and as we look ahead to the journey of the coming year. May we be able to sense your loving presence in every circumstance. Amen. Hello, happy December 31st, everybody. I'm Josette. Um, the theme for a week of Christmas to New Year is wrap up the season. Listen to these beautiful words from the old song, O Holy Night. Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chain shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall case. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we let all within us praise his holy name. Christ is the Lord, O oh, praise his name forever, his power and glory evermore proclaim. Here are some seasonal suggestions that have worked for others. Make a time capsule. Before 2021 begins, take time to think about what you'd like to accomplish and what you would like to see God do over the coming months. Write a list on a piece of paper, including your hopes and prayers for the year ahead. Seal the list in an envelope and put it away in a safe place to read again on December 31st, 2021. This can be an individual project or a great group activity. If you do it with others, you can pray for the goals that they have shared too. Here's another. Find time for a family circle. Consider establishing the custom of a family circle. On New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, a time to talk together about important events in one's life over the past year. Give each one a time to talk while others listen and ask questions. You could really go a step further and grab sleeping bags and make it a family slumber party. Hear these words from chapter 2 of Matthew, verses 10 and 11. When the wise men saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that no matter how we observe the end of a year, we can always be overjoyed in you. Amen. Thank you guys so much. Have a happy new year. Bye!
Well, this is the end. This is the last of our video devotionals for the Advent and Christmas season. It's a new year, January 1st, 2021. The theme for this week from Christmas to New Year is wrap up the season. So ask yourself on this New Year's Day, how can you best celebrate the gift of Jesus and the gift of another new year? Tell Jesus your plans in prayer and ask him to be with you throughout this coming year. Here are some seasonal suggestions that have worked well for others. Here's one, be resolved. Now think about New Year's resolutions. Many people make New Year's resolutions with very lofty goals of things that are extremely difficult, things you want to change about yourself, things you want to improve. All that's okay. Think about this, though. This year, think about making a New Year's resolution regarding something you've already started, something you have begun to do well and wish to continue. For example, if you kept in touch with older family members this past year, resolve to keep that correspondence going. Or if you found new resources, whether books or something online or something else that brought you close to God, promise yourself to continue that discipline. Ask God to help you identify what you were doing right. Don't turn resolution making into a time to bash yourself or look down on yourself. Enjoy hearing God say, well done, my faithful servant. Here's another thought. Turn Christmas cards into prayer cards. I like this idea. Hold on to the cards you have received and put them in a special place, maybe a special basket on New Year's Day or sometime in the next couple of the days. Begin the tradition of choosing one card to read aloud each day, perhaps at mealtime. And then together, pray for the person who sent that card. Isn't that cool? Maybe you could share a story about how that person has been a blessing to you. If the card is from someone who's living without faith in God, you can pray for Jesus' love to shine into their heart. If it's sent by someone who lives far away, you can follow up with a short note or card to that person and let them know that you prayed for them that day. Hear this Bible verse today, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your many gifts to us, especially for the indescribable gift of your Son. As we look ahead to the new year, 2021, help us to consider what we can offer to you and how we can serve you more fully day by day. Amen. God bless you this new year.